Hi, and welcome back to our end of season review and transfer special for season 28 29. That was some season we've just had. We just missed out again. Can it be third time lucky? Just going to do some transfers. I do think we're going to have to this season. But please do, if you like that sort of thing, get over there, subscribe. Look at it, it's beautiful. Like, like the video, do it all. And help us out with that channel algorithm. Get some comments down below, please. And let's go and have a look at our season review a second. And as it said in the intro, can we do it again? Can we win this blooming league? Oh, so frustrating. Right. The new arrivals. Mm. Right, yes. We spent some money. <laughs> we spent a fair bit of money last season. Only five players brought in. And Zonarek was classed as the best of the bunch. A 6.49 Eight assists, two goals, pretty good. But I would like to say that, well, this the same Wendlin's a D. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. Look, a 7.27 off three starts. Five off the bench, one goal, two assists. The boy's an animal. And it's a D. Timacus a C. So Zonarek was a C as well. Waldron... Was a B, did pretty well, only had two off the bench. And Dozel, a B. Flattered, didn't really flatter really. One goal, no assists, a 6.28. 13 starts, 16 off the bench. Need more than that, really. Moments to remember. So, Luca and Makoko, 22 goals for the season, an A minus. Second half. And what did they say? Top half. It was avoid relegation, I do think you said, at the start of the season. Biggest win, that 6-0 win against Anderlecht. That was a storming game. Then, match to remember, the 2-1 win in the Champions League against Bayer Leverkusen. And Zonarek, top draw goal from Rovers attacking midfielder. Should we go and have a look at it a minute? So here we go, Stephen, Umaroff, Schurz, Zonarek. What a strike it was! <laughs> that was some game. And just thinking about it, we played Norwich in this game. We had sixty-seven percent possession. They didn't have a shot on or off target for the game. That shows how good we are at the moment. We are very, very dominant. The finances oof, don't look quite so good. So we're currently now a four and a half star worldwide reputation club. So that's good. Uh, sponsorship up. That's good. Somebody's doing some woodwork out there by the sound of it. That's all we need trying to make videos. Broadcast down. Corporate was up. Prize money down. Match day commercial down. Makoko, most shirts sold. Schroes, Luca, Zonarek, and Pineda. So Stephen doesn't even make it this year. Is that telling me something? Are we maybe how we lined up. So Markham on a seven point two four in goal. Wow. Oliveira, Brampwaite, Ballard, Pickering, Umaroff, Steven, Zonarek, Schroes, Makoko and Luca. A few people mixed up a little bit, but we'll, we'll go with that. Um, oh, yes. We're Premier League Manager of the Year. Oh, beautiful. Manager of the Month for August and April. Oh, we're starting to get awards Fans player of the year, the elite striker that is Yusuf Mokokoko. Young player of the year, Mokoko as well. Sign of the season, Zonarek. 
Goal of the season, Zonarek. Top goal scorer, Luca with 29 in total. Most assists goes to Makoko with 12. Average rating as well. Umarov, most pass completion, 116 in a game. And there's all sorts of records been broken as well, look. So 29 goals by Luca is the most. Makoko with his 16 assists breaks Pickering's 15. Most man of the matches by Makoko as well. Competition awards anything? We have. The European Golden Boy, Stephen. PFA player, Young Player of the Year, Tom Markham. Oh, wow. And German's Player of the Year, Makoko. So Stephen gets the Golden Boy Award. That means everyone's going to be wanting to buy him. But what I did notice in the dynamics... No, it's not dynamics. Where did I see it? Where is he? Where is he? Did I see it in here? Disappointed with James Prisk attempts to reduce the size of the squad. I don't know where he's got that from. Um, unhappy with his training. Feels individual... So he's unhappy with... I've tried to reduce the size of the squad. I don't ever remember saying we're going to make it smaller. So I don't quite know what's gone on there. Um, where are they now? Pretty much. It's all the boys, isn't it? Best 11 now. Let's have a quick look at it as it stands. Junior in goal, Oliveira, Ballard, Brantwaite, Pickering. It's the back four of now. Umaroff, Stephen comes in. And so does Dave Schroes as a central midfielder. That is telling me something as well. Dave Schroes, if we look at his overall career, two goals, ten goals, seven goals, one goal. Six assists, five assists, four assists. He's not gone past the seven yet. I think he's a midfielder. I don't think he is a striker. I think that's what we've got to get into our heads. When it comes to midfield, is that advanced playmaker? I think, yeah. Um, what is going on out there today? I do not know. Yeah, it seems to be somebody out there doing a bit of um, amateur DIY. Oh, of all things. So, yes. It says midfield entertainer is his media description now. So, we will be sticking him as the midfielder. We're going to keep him in there. I think it's just best. Maybe change his role up ever so slightly. Elliot. Breton Diaz still on the left wing. And Luca up top. Right. So we know where they are. Expectations. Make the most set pieces. Youth development. Attacking possession football. High tempo. Sign players under the age of 20. Have you not seen what we've been doing? Obviously, a few older ones. Yeah. Work within the wage budget. Yes. Top half finish. Champions League. Yes. Qualify for the Champions League. A cha Hello. Challenge for the Premier League title by the 20th. My goodness, they've upped their expectations here, haven't they? Um, I think we'll, we'll accept that. Destination camp. I think we'll go to Germany. Saxony and Germany for a change. And yes, as we can see, Tom Markham won the player of the year, young player of the year. Very happy with that. And just having a quick look at the squad, if we look at the squad depth, Markham is coming on. We know he's going to be a quality keeper. Trafford has dropped a bit, but he is, stats-wise, yeah, they, let's forget the red arrows, but he is still an exceptional goalkeeper. So we're happy with him. Right back, I think we're sorted with Oliveira, but what I have noticed with Oliveira... He really is turning into an absolute beast to maybe play in this midfield role. Somebody who can get the ball going and all. If we can find another really, really good right back, 
I'm tempted to retrain him as a midfielder. To be that half-back anchor man sort of that we play. Just a quick decisions, concentration, tackling, everything. So the potential for him to move up into that role is high. He is rated as the best player for that role as well. So again, it's another one that uh, we might have to, to look at. Um, Centre-backs, maybe we... These two aren't developing as quickly as I would have liked. So maybe we need another world-class centre-half. Although then Ballard... Ballard is just a powerful centre-back. He is just quality. 28 years old, so he's still got years in him yet. Three and a half star current ability as a ball playing. So a ball player. Maybe we change his role up to a ball playing defender. Another little thing we could maybe look at. Um, other than that, strikers were fine. Midfield, maybe we need to up them a little bit. But let's go have a look, have a little look, see what's available, shall we? Okay, so we've only gone on a couple of days and things have sort of gone a bit weird. Um, our club facilities have been downgraded, so we're going to look to try and upgrade them again. Coach's summary, so what was it? Dozel, not happy that we haven't kept the promise to play him in his deep line playmaker role. We have had a chat with him and we've agreed that maybe we can do that in the future. Uh, Doyle, happy, not happy as well that he's not been played as a ball playing defender. I don't think he played much, but so he's handing a transfer request. And Benfica have come in with £11 million, which we've accepted. So pretty good. We've um, we've tried to upgrade. They're having none of it. Um, but the youth facilities, they have agreed in the end to upgrade that. And also upgrade the training facilities. Costing a bit of money, but, you know, we'll see. We've also got some more physios available to us as well now. So, a bit of good news. Right. Let's move on a few more days, hopefully, without any more issues. Um, It's happened again. Stephen now is not happy. Oh, for goodness sake. And what's the reason for it? In public domain. Unhappy that you promise made by the manager in a team meeting wasn't kept. It's completely opposes the manager despite excellent support from the dressing room. Uh, feels individual. I don't know what I've done. Stephen, Stephen, I'm on your favoured personnel list, mate. What the hell's gone on? Has something happened in a team meeting? He is outspoken which maybe we haven't noticed before. And maybe he's not as good as what we think he is. Ten assists last season. So sort of... Uh, if we get a big offer, I might accept it. I'm not having this. So it is getting a little bit that way at the minute. We are... Recouping money, should we say. Um, Batty has gone for a million pounds. A lad, Kenny Forrest, never saw him play. He, he was all right, but not nothing special. Uh, 3.9 million pounds he's gone to Ipswich, I think it was. Um, yes, Ipswich. We've managed to avoid a tax bill. Commercial, as we saw earlier on, is... Pretty good. New scouting budgets have all been sorted. And um, Blackburn chairperson provides loan injection of £21.5 million to cover debts incurred this season. Um, so if we look at our finances, the projection doesn't look too bad at the moment. So we've got £90 million. We're so saying by the end of 31, we'll be 62 down. But... Then we have got the new stadium coming pretty soon. I'm not sure when that's going to be. That should be fairly soon. Doyle is going to Benfica for £11 million. 
So pretty good, pretty happy with that, considering we signed him on a free transfer last season. Let's move on. Okay, so here is one of those situations. N'Golo Kante, at the age of 37, has retired. We knew it was going to happen, and there it is in black and white. He's gone. We've also got issues. <laughs> Dave Schreurs. Um, people want to say they're going to bid £86 million for him. That's the bottom end of his value. If it was like 130, we might accept it. But I'm not selling for any less than way over 100. Um, it's been signing players in the oh, play staff, sorting staff out. Boothry's going out on loan as well. It's been so many people we're sorting out at the moment. Contracts in behind all these. Keep saying players, staff, loads of them all being sorted. Duffy, who we thought we were going to get rid of, another youngster. Not happy about it. Also, where did I see it? Um, yes. Kadnovic is now homegrown. Oliveira, homegrown soon. He's due. Even Stephen, I think, is going to be due. Venezino is there as well. But Kadnovic, that's a big one. That is a big one. Liverpool offered £83 million for Schroes. What Now, Football Manager explained to me, what is the point of having this £86 to £97 million and then some idiot comes in with £83? It's not even close. Um... Yes, we've had lots of offers. Forty-four and a half million pound for Stephen. Again, I'm certainly not going to sell him to a Premier League side. Roma want Luca. Uh, Jose is going out on loan as well. Probably, I would say. Jao Gomez is wanted. Twenty odd million quid to Wolves, possibly. Watch this space. It's just insulting. It really is. Um, he's worth £45 million. And Man City have offered 31 and a half. He might be upset. But I'm not accepting that money. Wolves have offered £37 million for Gomez. So we're selling him. Down is signed a new deal. Excellent. Umroth signs a new deal. There. Commits his future. Down as well. Ronald. Also Falcao is looking to do it. Um, has anybody seen a player called Frank Kessie? He's a bit good. And he wants to leave AC Milan. So our beautiful director of football has made an offer for him. I, I can't see it coming off. I, I just there's so many clubs in for him. In fact, if we have a look here a minute, does it say who's interested in him? Um, transfer transfer status. Oh, there was there was Fulham and all sorts. There was Monaco. There was all sorts of team. Oh yeah, let Monaco make a bid for him. So they they made a bid as well. So there's lots of interest. So I'm just, I'm just hopeful at the moment. Got another physio come in. There's been lots of stuff. Oh, yes. Neymar is now an assistant manager. We won't be taking him on as assistant manager. He wasn't much good as a player, so we won't be having him back. Bye bye, Neymar. Well, here I was saying that we won't be signing Frank Kessie. We are signing Frank Kessie. We've got him. Send him on an intensive language course. Get Timicus to say hello to him. And Frank Kessie's in the building. A tenacious midfielder, 31 years old. 
Oh, he's got a lot to offer. He's got a lot to offer this team. And with N'Golo Kante retiring, here's your old guy to replace him. 117 caps for the Ivory Coast. 18 goals. Oh, yes, please. Um, Premier League still number one ranked. Blackburn are up. I moved up 13 places to 26th in the European stat. So where are we now then? Hang on. Club info. We are still a four and a half star rated team. That's good though. We're in the top 26. Excellent. Homegrown players. Oh, look at this. This is getting so much better as well. Homegrown status. There's only Oliveira and Steven who haven't got it, but they're due any time. So that's great news as well. At club as well, look at that. Kadnovic, Waldron, they're due. It's going to help with our homegrown part for certain. Right, we have got lots of irons in the fire. There's lots of stuff going on. Let's go and do some of it, shall we? So we have brought in another player. This is this is weird. I, I I don't get this end of season stuff. So we Gomez has gone for thirty seven. Tom Beal. Who needs a face? <laughs> Blooming hell, he needs a face with a face like that. Crikey Moses. Five star potential. Two star current ability. Central midfielder can also play at the base and can play right and left back. Hallelujah. He's cost us £50 million. Pounds. He's 18, 19 years old. I think he was 18 when he came in. Oh, no, he won't. He won't come as homegrown at club. That's a mistake. But the quality of him, the potential of him, two stars, five star potential... He's going to be rapid. He's going to be strong. He's going to be really, really quick. And everything else about him, he's going to be a beast for us. And we've nabbed him off Manchester United. And that's still bolted on to last season. I, we have got lots and lots of deals going on. We have still got finances. 20, £29 million. Pounds. So... I think there's a fair few deals to be done yet. It is the 1st of July and what better way than to get Makoko signed on a new five year deal. 230 grand a week. Pfft, yeah, it's a lot of money, but he is that elite striker. And look at him. He really is boosting on and hopefully get some more out of him as well Batty is now gone to Hull Forrest is gone to Ipswich so we are starting to recoup some more money in finances 36 million pounds now no more signings as yet well this summer just gets even more interesting Gary Pallier comes in as a French 21-year-old, under 21-year-old, five-star potential, two-and-a-half-star current ability. Central midfield can also play anywhere across the front. Could be as a left winger as well, who he's natural as. £24 million from Chelsea. Seems like a bit of a bargain, to be honest. He has been out on loan, like Chelsea do. They've made a nice tidy profit out of it. And he had a cracking game games last season in the championship for Watford. So hopefully the committed attacking midfielder will be pretty good for us. Teamwork as well. I think that's got to do with that. Gary Paglia. We've also got Diego Cardicchio. Cardi Cardicchio? In fact, hang on a minute. We did do this one earlier. We will double check this one. Cardichu. Cardichu. Cardichu? <sighs> it's a strange one to me. 
Um, this lad, three and a half star potential, was brought in by our director of football, and what was it? Two five hundred and fifty grand. Just seems a no-brainer. Uruguayan potential as well. Can play anywhere across that front. Probably, you know, we don't play with that player really, but we are training them up to be a Mazala in there, which I think he's got a lot of potential to play there. So, Carter Chu, we'll see what he's like. But there has been an out. Stephen Stephen has gone to AC Milan for £53 million. And he doesn't seem... I, I don't think he's going to develop on. It says five-star potential again, which he was down to four when we sold him. So I'm not quite sure what their coaches are seeing, which is different to us. But for 53 million quid, someone who wanted to leave, he was moaning and groaning. So we've let him go. We've let him go. And oh, yes, 53 million pound. A 30% sell-on clause as well. That was a big thing. Jan Naimi as well. Nearly 10 million quid. Again, 30% sell-on. He's going to Slavia Bratislava. Slovian Bratislava, should I say. There's quite a few deals in the pipeline. I'm not going to show you them yet. But let's just scoot on a few days and see what does actually happen. Whether they come off or not. Yes, Timicus, Costas Timicus. He came moaning. He moaned and groaned and moaned and groaned some more about not playing in his preferred role and hasn't had enough football. So he's gone for £15.5 million. And again, another one, considering he cost us £13 million last season, there's a small profit to be made. And he's gone. We have accepted it. Transfers. What else has happened? We have had a few signings and we've had spent some money. So there's £119 million now. Naimi is gone. Dane Scarlett has gone to RB Leipzig for £40 million. Pounds. I'm... So we paid what for him? Back then, 25. He hasn't developed as much as we would have liked. He's had a couple of good seasons on loan. But to get 40 million quid for, for him, where he's not going to grow any more, that's his potential done. He is free star, he's free star, that is it. You're not getting a better player of Dane Scarlett in this save. And he ain't all that. 40 million quid. Thank you very much. We'll have that. So we've gone and splashed the cash on a couple of players. I had to check the spelling. Christian Smurra. A five-star potential, two-star current ability, right back. We were saying earlier on that Oliveira might be able to be switched up to be in this halfback role that we play. And this lad has got the potential to absolutely steamroller him. He is awesome. Argentinian, 18 years old, so he will fall in to the homegrown eligibility. And also, Benjamin Stettin. Yeah. Uh, he costs 66... 66... Uh, 66 million pounds cost he's played 105 games he's 20 years old he's a 5 star potential 2 and a half star potential <laughs> current ability sorry left back we needed a young left back we have paid a lot of money for him but I look at this and I think he is he is our forever left back, this lad. Already two and a half star 
player as fullback or complete wing back. I think we might be changing roles up ever so slightly. Oh my word, I am so happy with this player. So there's £106 million pounds spent, £119 million pounds recouped. We still have £56 million pounds to spend. <sighs> Squad depth. Squad depth, he says. Things are starting to really take shape, but I think we still... That centre half, Frank Kessie now in there as well with Oliveira. The midfield is sorted. Strikers, Schroes, Luca, Pineda. <sighs> Let's go on. We've decided to try and get a centre half. Wesley Fafana. We have put our director of football on it. We have said go get him. We have bid £75 million. We have offered him a contract of £295,000 a week. <sighs> Let's see if we can get him, shall we? I do hope so. This would be the final part of the jigsaw. So we've done our squad numbers. And as you can probably read if you're looking through, you don't see a Wesley Fafana. £295,000 a week we offered him. He has just signed a new deal after after let me, being on the transfer list at his request. He signed a new deal for £140,000 a week. We finished second in the Premier League twice. We've informed Fafana's evaluated proposal for accepting Leicester's offer of ours and didn't find it too difficult a decision to make for him to make. He revealed he was delighted to be staying at Leicester due to his strong passion for the club. This is unheard of. Somebody has turned down double the money to stay at the club he loves. It's football. It's just football, isn't it? We move on. Ballard's quality, anyway. Well, this has been one of the most interesting and moving transfers. Segovia has gone to Sheffield United. Five million pounds, I think it was, in the end. Segovia's out. I was so hopeful for this lad. But he has moved on. He just didn't quite develop on to where we wanted him to be. 25 years old now. 16 caps for Venezuela. Go and have fun with Sheffield United, son. Well done. So, all in all, we haven't signed anyone else. Finances, we've still got 60 million quid near us to spend. Squad. Depth is looking awesome, really, other than at centre-back. But there isn't another really, really quality centre-half of around 26, 27. They're all 30, 31. And I don't want us to go spending 60 million quid on a 30-year-old. He says, now watch me go and do that in the next video <laughs> before the transfer window. But all in all, schedule... We're unbeaten in pre-season. We've had an awesome pre-season. Yet again, only conceding two goals. Scoring that 21 goals. Makoko's banging them in for fun. Ruby Santos, who we signed a few seasons ago for a million quid, is now rated as a five-star potential £57 million striker. He's had a few goals as well. Five, in fact. He's looking awesome. Lorenzo Luca, he's looking awesome. It's just looking so, so good. He's been away on European Championships. And it's just great. It's just everyone's come back at the right time. We're looking fit. We're looking hungry. 
tactics are like this at the moment. Markham, Oliveira, Ballard, Brantwaite, Stettin, Umarov, Zonarek, Schroes, Kessie, Luca, and Makoko up top. And we've got such a deep squad this season. Wendling, Thorsby, even McAtee has come off the transfer list. He's wanted, but he's not going on blooming loan. I can say that now. Kardnick, Pallier, Venezuelo has boosted on as well. He's really, I don't think he's ever going to make to the four star, and we could probably do with selling him if he isn't going to kick on, but he has boosted up quite a bit. So whether we send him out on loan to another championship team and see what comes of him, I'm not sure. But And even one of our youngsters, Billy Barkley, he has come through and looking awesome. So I've thrown him into the first team mix this season as well. So it's looking really, really good. Tom Beale in there, Waldron, Kadnovic, Smara, Down, Pineda, just... We've got to make sure we play Dozel in his correct role. There is an issue. There is an issue. And I have said to them, let's not worry about it. Feels there is lack of depth at left back. Because we sold Timicus, I said we've got Stettin. And he'd be and they've sort of said, Alright, yeah, okay, we'll go with that. I just hope he does make it. Well, boys and girls, that was an amazing, amazing transfer window. We've spent so much money. We've recouped so much money. We've shuffled the pack slightly. Will it be enough? Will it be enough to make the difference and bring home that Premier League? Please do, if you like the video, like, subscribe, get notified, and comments down below. And we'll see you in the next one when we're back for the first couple games of the season. The Community Shield against Liverpool. And on an inaugural, as usual, Manchester Blooming City. See you next time.